Eminem Underground. Let's go. Spaghetti. A lot of people ask me what the fuck I've been at the last few years. I thought he was going to say stupid fucking questions. Shit, I don't know. But I do know. I'm back now. <laughs> Here comes the rain in London now. Nowhere to run, to run to now. I've disappeared to wonder how. Looking for me, I'm underground. Here comes the rain in London now. Nowhere to run, to run to now. What? I've disappeared to wonder how. Looking for me, I'm underground. I'm down here, under the ground. Dig me up. Broken tibias, fibias, yeah, fix me up. Sixty sluts, all of them dying for mass fixia. After they sit pissed through a Christopher Reeve sippy cup. Dig wow. It's like he was dead. Underground. <clears throat> yeah. Dig me up. Okay. I'm down here, underground, dig me up. Broken tibias, fibias, yeah, fix me up. 60 sluts, all of them dying from asphyxia after they sit pissed through a Christopher Reeve sippy cup. Sick. Ridiculous. Okay. Okay. What happened? Why does that always happen? <laughs> I'm sick of this shit. All I do is pause it. What's the difference? For real. What actually changes? All right. Your yeah, app that he sit pissed through a Christopher Reeves sippy cup. Dixie cups, toxins, boxes of oxy pads, enough boxy cotton to send a fucking ox to rehab. Ah. Back in a black stocking cap, jacking off to a hockey mask and a boxing match. Wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. He said enough oxy cotton to send a fucking ox to rehab. Mm. Dixie cups, toxins, boxes of oxy pads. I have to say that because he said oxy the three ox, times in there. Yeah. yeah. And there was a lot of X's in there. Dixie cups have X's, toxins have X's, boxes have they X's, oxy has X's, oxy cotton has X's, and ox has yeah. X. So Dixie cup, toxins, boxes of oxy pads, enough oxy cotton to send a fucking ox to rehab. Ox to rehab. Yeah. That's fire. Whack job in the back in a black stocking cap, jacking off to a hockey mask at a boxing match. Like, like just looking at a hockey mask? At a boxing match? Yeah, but because if, if you remember, Eminem, his, it, like the hockey mask, the Jason mask was his thing. Yeah. So he's like, is he saying he's obsessed with himself? Like he's obsessed with the old Eminem? Like I'm jerking off to the, my past? Like memories of my past. Huh. Is that what he's saying? It's Jason reference. Yeah, I think it is a Jason reference, but he wears it because of Jason. Like that was that that was like a regular thing that he used to put on. Mm. So that's ridiculous. Anyway, let's continue here. Job in the back in a black stocking cap, jacking off to a hockey mask at a boxing match. He can't say that. Yes, he can. I just did, faggot, and I guess again. Better text message your next to kin. Tell him shit's about to get extra messy, especially when I flex again. Throw a fucking lesbian and wet cement. Bro, this nigga's wildin'. His voice sounds different. Yeah. Doesn't he sound like he's like, he's like raging. He sounds like he's like, he's he has like some bass channeling. in his voice, bro. He has a different type of bass in his voice. Okay. Yo. Wild. This nigga's wild. This is... Uh, okay, there's relapse and recovery, right? Yeah, I think relapse was first and then recovery and then was recovery. after that. Okay. Yeah. All right. Crazy. It's about to get extra messy, especially when I flex again. And throw a fucking lesbian and wet cement. So faggity, 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 raggedy, <laughs> and Andy. No, raggedy, Andy, and Andy. Ah. No, it can't be, it can't be. Yes, it can be. The fucking Antichrist is back. Danny and Satan in black satin panties. Bro. Oh, my Andy goodness. Pill, calamity, goddamn it, insanity. Pills, fanny pack, filled with Zannies. Do every nook and cranny. Looking for trannies. Milk and cookies spilt on my silk negligee. Look, raise up a lace with me to make you believe. Cases of Maybelline makeup lay on Bro. the table of weed. He's a word. Razor bro. blades believe. To make you believe. Oh my god. Yo, this right here. Did this this is the album that got hated on? I I'm not sure if it was relapse or recovery that was. That's why I asked. There's no way. 
that it was There's this. no way niggas was hating on this album and being like, this isn't the Eminem we know. There's no way. This shit is amazing, bro. What? This nigga is amazing. This is a horrorcore album, Will said. Okay. Recovery was hated on. Okay. Wait, and then how was that? It was this one. No, I think it was this one. I think it was this one because uh, I remember when he was talking about it. Yeah, he was saying the accents. That's what Unicorn Slayer said. Yeah, I think it was this one. This shit is amazing, bro. Oh, my goodness. Rapping-wise, this shit is crazy. Raise up a lace with me to make you bleed. Cases of Maybelline makeup lay on the table of weed. Slim Shady, shit sounds like a fable to me. Till he jumps out the fucking toilet when you're taking a pee. Where does he come up with this shit, bro? I don't know. I have it's no like, idea. He's just like, what's the worst thing I can think of? Right now. He just says all the worst things that he can That's think of. That's crazy. Like, this is imagery that we've seen our whole life in like, yep. in like perverted shows, scary movies, horror movies, and like sexual deviant shows crazy yeah and he's just like let me just fucking package that yep. in some rhymes <laughs> and put that in your head just because that's oh crazy my goodness yeah he's ridiculous Semen sample, 17 strands of hair found in the back of a van after the shoot with Vanity Fair. Hannah Montana prepared it with lope with a can opener and beat cut open like cantaloupe and canopy beds and glad bags. Yeah, glad to be back because last year was a tragedy that landed me smack dab in rehab. Uh, Hold up. Bro. That sick. flow, bro? Sick. That flow is ridiculous. Hold up. He said, Hannah Montana prepared yeah. to elope with a can opener. Meaning he's going to cut her open. Yep. And he says, and be cut open like a cantaloupe on canopy beds and glad bags. Yeah, glad to be back. Uh, oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. Uh, making drugs cool. Trying to be tough and cool. He's saying stuff that makes money. I don't think you understand. I think, I think you're just missing the point. Because it's not to be tough. Of course it's to make money. Isn't that what everyone's doing? First of all, he's a rapper. If he can make money, there's plenty of rappers that talk crazier than this and don't get any of the money. But the thing is, is that the talent behind what he's saying is like, yeah. he's, he's putting, he could put anything in these rhymes and it would be still as amazing. But he's putting what the thing that he knows will shock people because that's the kind of rapper he is. Yeah. He's been doing that from the beginning. So it's like, that's the whole point. It's not to make him cool. It's because that's his style. His style is that. He has his own personality, and a lot of people don't like it. A lot of people take it wrong. A lot of people just hear vulgarity. A lot of people just hear craziness. But this dude is super talented, and that's just what he chooses to rap about. Exactly. Uh, it is what it is. I, I choose the things I rap about, too. Like I said, I thought of a bar that he said in the past. So it's like, it's just, it's just rapping, bro. He's really just being really dope. And the way to rap, you could... He also talks about his life, so... Pretending that he only talks about this type of yeah. stuff is crazy. And he's been through some shit. Because this nigga, he also puts his entire life in his music on top of it. This is just, this is the added bonus where he's just, he just can rap about anything and be nasty and be nice. You could, yeah. you could see it as him saying tough things. But like I said before, you're, I'm seeing it as him just saying ridiculousness. It's like, it's novelty. It's a novelty. It's like fucking juggling knives. It's yep. like dangerous and ridiculous. Why would you do it? But that's what he's doing because that's why he's doing it. Exactly the reason that he's doing it. How about positive rap? You think he doesn't have positive rap? Have you never heard Not Afraid? This dude does positive rap all the time. Yeah. All the time. That's what I'm trying to say. So you're, you're boxing him into a place where he actually is everywhere. He's in all the... Anything you mention, Eminem has probably done it. Eminem has already rapped about it. Because this dude is a rapper for real. And he needs so respect for what music. he does. Yeah. Like, it's not going to hit for everyone, but this dude actually... Does this very talent well? Too. Like, yeah, lose yourself. To, very positive. That's yeah. one of the most motivational, biggest songs in the world. That's a fact. 
That's a fact. This dude, this dude is upper echelon of of just rap period of music, not even just rap, because this dude is a better writer than majority of people in any genre. Yeah. This dude is crazy. Fucking doctor, I ain't understand a damn what he said. I planned to relapse the second I walked out of that bitch. Two weeks in Brighton, I ain't enlightened. Biting into a fucking bike and like I'm a biking. Oh, lightning is striking, might be a fucking sign. I need a psychic evaluation. Fuck Jason, it's Friday the 19th. That means it's just a regular day. And this is the kind of shit I think of regularly. Uh. Fucking lesbian shouldn't have had her legs in the way. Now she's pregnant and gay, missing both legs and begging to stay. Uh. What the fuck? What? That was amazing. Yo. That's amazing. He said, <laughs> he said, fucking lesbian shouldn't have had her legs in the way. Now she's pregnant and gay, missing both legs, begging to stay. What? Like, why? <laughs> she's pregnant and gay. Yeah. But she wants to stay with him. Yeah. But she's a lesbian. What? <laughs> And that's the kind of shitty things regularly on a regular what? day. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Pro Trump rap, that's probably the one he's never did. Good, good, yeah. good, good find. <laughs> good find because that's probably the one thing he's never done. But he was anti Hillary Clinton for a second. So yeah. we could kind of put that in the same box. But no, I think that might be the one thing he never did. <clears throat> Here comes the rain and thunder now. Nowhere to run. I'm back and I'm coming to spit it back in abundance. Hit a bag with onions and split a bag of onions. Mad at me, understandable. Cannibal, shoot an animal out of a cannon and have him catapult at an adult. Uh, bro, get out of here, bro. Oh my God. Get out of here, bro. Like, there's no way. The wordplay is re like, imagine. Imagine trying to put that positively. Yeah. There's just no way. You yeah. gotta you gotta go at it from that angle in yep. order to hit those bars. Yeah. There's no way to say that positively. And that's why this nigga will say the most ridiculous thing. He just said throw onions at facts. Yeah, like mix it like, like that word play. words and moves yeah. yeah, it's just crazy. You cannot put that you can't phrase that in a way without it sounding like that. And that's like this dude. He, bro, he's just too nice. Like onions, he's too nice. He probably wrote, like, okay, like Funyuns, yeah. right? Like onions, but then he put the F. F yes. I don't want to say F onion and YouTube. onions, yes. Yeah, so like F onion. Like, yeah, that's the like wor it's just wordplay. He's he's legitimately like a, <sighs> he, he, he's, he knows how words work. Yeah. That's the thing. Cat that's how good he is at rapping. Catapult at an adult. At an adult. Crazy. Crazy. And he said, he said, cannibal, shoot an animal out of a cannon and have him catapult at an adult. Uh. So he's a cannibal, so he already eats humans. Yeah. But he's going to shoot an animal. And then the way he said it was like, he could just be shooting an animal. So he, he eats humans, but he's still hunting He's still hunting animals. But then he said, out of a cannon. Yeah. Like the way he said it, it made it, it just extended the bar. But it already sounded like, I'm a cannibal who's going to shoot an animal. Yeah. And they yeah. said, out of a cannon and make it catapult at an adult. This wow. dude is crazy. He raps ridiculous. Damn, bro. Animal, shoot an animal out of a cannon and have him catapult at an adult. Captain of a cult with a uh, following. There, right there. And then goes more. into captain of a cult <laughs> after catapult. Oh catapult at God. an adult. Captain of a cult. This Fire. dude is fucking wildin'. Yeah. The wordplay is crazy. Yep. Out of a cannon and have him catapult at an adult. Captain of a cult with an elite following to turn Halloween back to a trick or treat holiday. Have Michael Myers looking like a liar. Swipe his powers, replace his knife with flowers and a stack of flyers. He <laughs> takes a boy, he's for a 40. Suck a suppository up his ass and made him tell me a story. Gave Hannibal Lecter a fucking nectarine and sat him in the fucking fruit and vegetable section and gave him a lecture. Oh! Bro, the wordplay is retarded. Oh, my God. Look, look. Do you think our young understand that, though? I already talked about that. Were you not here 10 minutes ago? When I just said, when I was a kid, I knew Eminem was ridiculous. Yeah. When I listened to him as a child, and the song was about him ending his wife and putting her in, a, in water, and I knew at that point it was not reality. Because of how you were raised. And Yeah, because I was raised right. So if your people aren't raising their kids wrong, I mean, if people are raising their kids wrong, is it Eminem's fault that they can't tell the difference between art and music? I mean, art in real life? Just like I watch... 
mur- horror movies, but that doesn't make me a murderer. Yep. It's like music is an art form. You're you're trying to hold music to a higher standard than you are any other art form in the world. And there's so much murder in action movies. There's so much craziness going on in Hollywood. And you worry about Eminem rapping words. Don't listen to his music. Don't let your kids yeah. listen to his music if it's that if it's that serious. Yep. Like raise your kids the right way, and it won't affect them. That's just how I listened to Eminem. I heard the craziest of them, of Eminem songs when I was a kid, and I'm not crazy. Didn't do anything to me. I think Fair kids up. do know the difference if their parents raised them the right way. Yep. No one's trying to imitate imitate that. Everybody you know that was an Eminem fan, like everybody you know that says Eminem is my favorite rapper, they're fucking rappers. That's the thing. These people became rappers. They emulated Eminem by becoming rappers. They didn't try to become murderers. If you see every rapper in the game, my favorite rapper is Eminem. My favorite rapper is Eminem. My favorite. These niggas was all listening to Eminem, and they're my age. So they were all listening to Eminem when they were children, and now they're all rappers. The people who listen to Eminem are the nicest of rappers. They're not murderers. That's just how it works. Yeah, Trying to act like you you see a horror movie, you make horror movies. Yeah, that's like Chicago drill rap. Yeah, you see an action movie. You see, yeah, exactly. Chicago drill rap is a little different because they're rapping about real life yeah. gang banging. Eminem is, is novelty and he's always been that. We're lucky to have him in reality because this dude is, he's been his apex the whole time. He takes a four, he's from a 40. Suck us a oh, yeah, I want to talk about it. He's, he's just going through murderers. Movies. Yeah, yep. Movie villains. And then word playing their 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 storylines and names. Crazy. <sighs> His powers replace his knife with flowers and a stack of flyers. He takes a four, he's from a 40. Suck a suppository up his ass and made him tell me a story. Gave Hannibal Lecter a fucking nectarine and sat him in a fucking fruit and vegetable section and gave him a lecture. That right there catches me because Hannibal Lecter's a cannibal. So yep. he's like, nope, now you're a vegan. Yep, you're going to Now you're a veggies. vegan and you're bad. Go sit in the vegetable area, Crazy. in the fruits and vegetables area. I'm the cannibal here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so he's better than all these people because yeah. he's able to do all this to all of these movie murderers who kill everybody. He he like plays like Joker games. He said yep. he gave Mike Mike Myers flowers, yep. replaces knife with flowers. He what he hold on. He said he said. First of all, he said captain of a cult with an elite following to turn a to turn Halloween back into a trick or treat ho- ho- holiday. So like the movie Halloween. Yeah. But he also said captain of a cult. So like it could be wordplay for Halloween being pagan, holiday, occult, studying occult. It could be like it could be yep. uh, something else. But he said captain of a cult wouldn't leave following. And then so from the Mike Myers trick or treat to a holiday, he said have Mike Myers looking like a liar. Swipe his powers, replace his knife with flowers and a stack of flyers. Mm. Hit Jason Voorhees with a 40 suppository. Make him tell me a story, even though he doesn't talk. Hannibal Lecter, Nectar, Vegeta, lect- Lecture, like he's he's just nasty, bro. That's nasty. crazy. That captain of a cult. That's crazy. I didn't notice that when you yeah. said that, like both ways. Yeah, it could be a cult or it could be oh, a C-C. cult. Yeah. Yeah. He's nice. He's nice because Halloween is a pagan holiday. <coughs> crazy. I may be overthinking it though. Huh? I may be overthinking it though. No, that's fire. Yeah. Or he's from a 40, suck a suppository up his ass and made him tell me a story. Gave Hannibal Lecter a fucking nectarine and sat him in the fucking fruit and vegetable section and gave him a lecture. Walked up Elm Street with a fucking whipple bat drew. Fought Freddy Krueger and it was scissor hands too. And came out with a little scratch, ooh. Looking like I got in a fucking pillow fight with a triple fat goose. Insanity, can it be vanity? Where's the humanity in having a twisted fantasy with an arm and leg amputee? Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, hold on. Because... Some of these things is he just ever crazy. Walked up to Elm Street with a wiffle bat. Uh, fought Freddy Krueger and Edward, Edward Scissorhands. Both have knives for fingers. Yep. And came out with a scratch. With a little scratch. A little scratch. And then said, looking like I got into a pillow fight with a triple fat goose. Like goose pillow. Goose down pillow. Okay, yep, yep. So like, one of the, like a soft, very soft pillow. Because they're pussies. Yes, because they're pussies. And he only needed a wiffle bat. Wiffle bat. Crazy. And then said... Uh, insanity, can it be vanity? Where's the humanity in having a twisted fantasy with an arm and leg amputee? Mm. This nigga's wild. Wild, wild, wild. Vanity, can it be vanity? Where's the humanity in having a twisted fantasy with an arm and leg amputee? Straight jacket with 108 brackets and a strap that wraps twice around my back. Then they latch it. Cut your fucking head off and ask where you headed off to. Get it? Headed off to? Medic, this headache's off. 
Bro! Oh my God. Uh, this nigga said, first of all, the straight God. jacket shit with the eight brackets and they have to wrap it around me twice yeah. and then latch it. That's He's just so descriptive. That's like opening. Ridiculous, yeah. yeah. Opening a whole, opening one single bar yeah. to something crazy, which is crazy to rhyme that shit. Yeah. And make it make sense. He's telling a story every fucking you're, bar. You're put, you're picturing it. Yes, every bar is a story. Like you can you can see it exactly. Uh, and then, and then he said, "Cut your fucking head off and ask you where you're headed off to. Get it headed off to medic. This headache's awful, bro. <laughs> this get nigga's out of here. wild, bro. And medic and headache, like so headed, and yep. then medic headache. Like he's doing this wordplay shit nonstop, nonstop. Yeah, this is crazy." Straight jacket with 108 brackets and a strap that wraps twice around my back. Then they latch it. Cut your fucking head off and ask where you headed off to. Get it? Headed off to? Medic, this headache's awful. This anesthetic's pathetic. So is diabetic waffle. And this prosthetic arm keeps crushing my hard taco. Oh, oh my goodness. Now. To run, to run to now. I've disappeared. Wait, that's it? <sighs> no. Yeah, it's continuing. There's more. There's definitely more at the end. It's over. It wasn't a choice. It was, I had to do this. And now I got 90 days clean. And uh, that's all I have to share. Thanks. Thanks for sharing, Brian. Uh, is there anyone else you'd like to share this evening? Yeah, I got something to share. <laughs> when you walk through the door, you were queer to me. So come here, baby boy. Just come here to me. <laughs> what the fuck? You're a cock boy. Everybody wants you. You're gayer than you would ever claim to. I is he tap won't dancing? Have yeah. To rape you. So hold me, lay down, 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 <laughs> lay down, 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 lay down, 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 lay down, lay down. Oh, where's everybody going? This always went over real big and gay, eh? Wow. <laughs> okay, wait, I got another one. I just love condoms and lots of cum. Bro, no? this nigga's wild. Oh, shit. Wow. That's the same dude from, uh, or the same character. Yeah. From, is it the end of Criminal? I don't know. You showed me it. That's all I know. I think it's the end of Criminal. And he's in the bathroom or something. Does he go in the bathroom? I don't know. He, like, takes a piss. Right? <laughs> I don't know. Is it? Wait a second. Is it Marshall Mathers? I don't know. I think it's. I think it's the beginning of Marshall Mathers, where he's like pretending it's ICP sucking his dick. Takes a shit. Okay. I can't think. Yeah, I, there's multiple of them. There's multiple <clears throat> oh, of them. Okay. Ken Kniff from Connecticut. Yeah. I remember he's like Eminem. He's like, what'd you say? Fuck you guys. Bringing up Eminem. You want Eminem, you can have him. I'm a leaving. Mm -hmm. I remember that. Mm. But yeah, that was a good one. That was, that was amazing. That was very good. Bro, no matter where we pick a song from, no matter what time you pick a song from, yeah, it's like he's just bodying it like that. Oh, at the end of Wicked Ways. That's, and then he's like, rub my back, yeah. rub my back. Yeah. That was that one? Yeah. That was a good one. Word. But yeah, that was fire. <laughs> that was. That was That dope. was fire. Murdered. That that made for a good reaction right there. I enjoyed it. I yeah. always like this is this is the apex of reactions for me doing Eminem songs because it's like he has so it's much. everything that I want to hear. <clears throat> everything I want to break down in a rap. Yeah. You know I mean, every single time. It's like there's just never there's no uh there's never a time where he isn't going crazy. You yep. could I could pause it the whole time. 
Crazy, crazy, crazy. Amazing. Yep. 